Hello, crafty friends. It's Robin from Raincross Farms Makery. Thanks for joining us. Hop on in, say hello. Uh, let's see, I'm Robin. Behind the camera, behind the computer is my husband, Bill. You might be hearing some moans and groans from him over there because he's been, he's been outside working. And I'm going to set up my little tool here so that I can send out some information to you. Do, 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 do. That one. Okay. And our keyword tonight is gasoline. Gasoline. So if you want to get entered into our weekly drawing, this week it will be on Sunday, May 7th. Um, Comment the word gasoline and that will get you entered for this week. So, so question let's for see. you, wife. Yes. How come you're not showing up on your page? I don't know. I got you on mine. I don't I'm know. Not seeing it. There, there it is. you are. There I am. Got I'm it. there. I'm there. We had we had Facebook drama this morning. For some reason. The lovely people at, fa well, no, the lovely bots at Facebook decided to unpublish my page. And they didn't tell me why. They didn't, I don't know. And so I put in a little uh, help notice, dispute, whatever they think I did bad that put me in temporary Facebook jail. And, and again, without saying anything, without notifying me at all, they put my page back up. So I am thankful. I kind of wished I'd had a little more information. If I'm doing something wrong, I want to know so I can fix it. But I really don't think I was doing anything wrong. So happy May the 4th. May the 4th be with you and all that good stuff. So hop on, say hello. We're going to do a, we're going to do two projects tonight. Two projects using the same design. So we are going to use our May Club design. Let me show Tammy it to said, you. Tammy said G gasoline. G gasoline. And, and it works. Off. Okay. Works. So here yeah, is here is you, the Tammy. May the May design for Club. Vintage, very vintagey, very Route 66 ish. I've even got a little Route 66 sign on there. Perfect for uh, any type of vintage decor. Also perfect for Father's Day coming up. You could make a, a cute little sign, not a cute little, a very handsome, rugged sign for your husband or your father or your son's garage or, or a t-shirt because we're going to make a t-shirt tonight too. So, hi Tammy. We are, I'm doing good. Bill's in a little bit of pain. He's a... Uh, he, he, he went old. to, he's old. He worked today. He also went to a uh, massage therapist and she apparently gave him what for with the elbows in the back and all that good stuff. And so he's, he, he's hurting a little bit. So, Betty. hey Betty, welcome. Hey Patty. Okay, so club. Club is our monthly subscription service. You can sign up for Club and every month you will get a transfer, this size transfer, and you'll get three paste packets. This month, the paste packets are Storm, Cadet, and Ocean Mist. Pretty colors. And your first pack, that your first month, you get a free mini squeegee. So I thought since it's a new month and I haven't done this project yet. We're going to do it. We're going to do it two times. So, and I'm still going to get you out of here before you fall asleep. So I don't like to be touched like that, but my sister loves it. Well, Bill has never, thanks for sprinkling. Bill has never gone before. He, um, actually it was our dental hygienist. We had dental appointments on Monday and he told, she told him that She's studying, or she is, or... She's a student at the academy. She, she's a student learning massage therapy, and so he said, oh, my neck hurts, and she just, while he's sitting there in the chair, did a little something or other, and he said it made a difference, so we shall see. 
Okay, again, the keyword tonight is gasoline. That gets you entered into our weekly drawing. It also gives you a couple of buttons you can choose from for more information. Like if you're interested in signing up for Club, which is a great program, Craft Project comes to you every month. It's just awesome. So think about signing up for it. Let's get to getting. So my first one I'm going to do, I'm going to do our, my basic. I wish every club member would get one of these frames. This is our Aiden frame. It is reusable. So I have had other things chalked on this surface before and I clean it off and I'm going to just quickly chalk this design on this surface. And then we're going to do a t-shirt too. Okay, so sticky transfer, brand new. I'm not going to wax this. I am going to do this though. I am going to go in and turn this off. Turn that off. Hopefully you got, hopefully if you're signed up for notifications, hopefully you got them tonight because I, I, I updated something and it's supposed to work. So let me know. I'm going to fuzz this. I'm not going to wax this surface, but I am going to fuzz this transfer. And that's just going to put a little bit of lint fuzz on the, hey Patty, uh, a little bit of fuzz on the sticky part so it doesn't stick so tightly that, that it, it stretches when I peel it off. Do, 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 do. Okay, Betty got her notification. Good, good, good. Okay, and I'm going to turn that off. Okay, a little bit of fuzz. We're just going to do this in one color because honestly, I think that will look cool. It'll look cool on this black background. So I'm just going to center this, push it down, make sure there's no air bubbles. Make sure there's no lumps of fuzz underneath. I can just I can just picture this this style of artwork in my dad's garage growing up. That just really reminds me. That looks like a hair. I don't want a hair under there. That's a cat hair. That was a cat hair. Okay, so I've got my transfer stuck down. Yes, are you doing red? I'm not gonna do red. I What I thought I'd do is I would do one of these colors. Now I'm not gonna use the dark blue. These are the colors that come with this transfer, um, but I'm not gonna use the dark blue because it's on a black background. That won't show up. I could do the storm, which is a kind of a medium gray, or I could do ocean mist, which is a light blue. I'm leaning towards the light blue, just because I think that'll give it a lot of contrast. What do you think? Do you want me to do it in storm or ocean mist? My vote is ocean mist. Okay, Bill votes for ocean mist. What are you guys voting for? While you're voting for the color, I'm gonna chalk this in, because I'm just gonna do one color. This month is also color craze month, so we are offering Buy three jars of paste and get a fourth one for free. And that's for paste and ink. So we're actually going to be using ink a little bit later. Okay, Patty says Ocean Mist. Betty says Ocean Mist. Bill says Ocean Mist. I was thinking Ocean Mist. So I think we're going to do Ocean Mist. Okay, and I think this one, nope, that's not new. I was thinking it was new. I'm going to give this a little stir. It's been a hot minute since I've used it. Now you could do multiple colors, but I just, I'm just doing some, a couple of quick projects tonight. Okay, so I'm gonna use my small squeegee. I'm gonna put a little bit of my chalk paste. This is chalk in paste form. Put a little bit of it on my squeegee and I'm just going to drag that over the screen. Uh, 
Okay, looks like Ocean Mist was the clear winner. I didn't used to like this color, but I do. I've, I've learned, I've learned to love it. So I think I've got the whole screen covered. I'm just going to double check. I'm going to scrape off any excess. And let's see how it turned out. Okay. It definitely is gray, but has a blue tint to it. it. Yes. It's a very pale. Ooh, that looks it's pretty. It's a masculine blue. Looks pretty. And this last little part up. Okay, so I'm going to take this, I'm going to put it on a dish drying towel that I got from the Dollar Tree. And let me show you this just one color. And what? It didn't even take me 10 minutes. And I'm done. I don't know if I, I probably wouldn't decorate this with bows because that would, it looks, I don't know, it looks kind of manly. Okay. So I'm going to spray my transfer with some water. And then I'm going to, I'm just going to let this dry. I'm not going to, I'm not going to blow dry it because it'll dry fast enough. I'm going to set this aside though. And I'm going to clean this transfer because I'm going to use it again. I, I kind of have a challenge to use, to do two projects with one design on my live. So let me put away my paste. Definitely a man trend, but not exclusively. I like it. I would put it up in my house. Not quite sure where, I mean, I probably wouldn't put it in the dining room or anything, but no, I like it. It looks kind of rustic. Anyway, I'm going to start with either a paper towel or this is a Swedish dishcloth, so it's a reusable cloth. Mm -hmm. And I'm just taking off that top layer of paste with this. Our transfers are super easy to clean just with water. You like it just like that. You do too. It would, it would look cute in a diner. You could kind of put it in the dining room or breakfast nook or, I don't know, bathroom. Okay, uh, paper towel, I would toss this. I'll wring it out, rinse it out, and reuse it. And I'm going to get out my board eraser, which is getting very discolored, but that's okay. And I'm going to use it to clean out the rest of the paste out of that screen. <clears throat> you keep clearing your throat. I keep thinking I'm supposed to be paying attention to something. You just mm -hmm. have a tickle in your throat. Mm -hmm. He keeps going <clears throat> like, like I'm missing a comment or something. Okay, so front and back, the goal is to get the the paste, all of that paste out of that screen, because that's where the magic happens. And my niece turned her basement into, that would be cute. That would be cute. We turned our basement into a craft studio. Hi, Alana. Yay, you're here. Okay, so I'm going to, ordinarily I'd let this air dry, but I'm going to use it again pretty quick. So I'm just going to take a paper towel and just lightly get that moisture off of my screen so that I can use it again. And then we're going to get our t-shirt set up. So Bill's not too much of a printed t-shirt wearer. He's a t-shirt printer, but he doesn't wear too many printed t-shirts. So I'm making one for me. And if he wants one, he can bring me a t-shirt and I'll make him one. Okay, just making sure that's dry. Set that aside. 
and yeah, we'll make my own. Here is my t-shirt. Look at that. I love this. I got this quite a while ago. I think I got it from we Jiffy got, Shirts. We got that off of Jiffy Shirts. We got this off of Jiffy Shirts. But you can find them on Amazon. Sometimes you can find them in Walmart. It's a one of those a baseball jersey. But I love that color, that blue and that gray. I thought it would look awesome with that gasoline transfer. So let me. Betty wants to know if you've ever done a bath towel. I haven't. Um, I'm not sure how it would turn out because of all the fuzziness. I might, I might need to try it sometime just to see. Um, but I, I don't think you would get super good results with it with, on a bath towel. Okay, so I turned this inside out because I am going to put down an ink mat. So here is the ink mat I'm going to use. I cut this in half. It was ordinarily, uh, what is it, 11 by 23. I cut it in half because this is the only space I need. It's just a flexible plastic mat with a sticky back like a cricket, a cricket mat. And this serves two purposes. This, the stickiness adheres the fabric so the fabric doesn't shift at all when I go to uh, apply the ink. And also, if for some reason my ink bleeds through one layer, it won't bleed through to the back. This will catch it. So I'm just going to, and this is my trick for getting this in, as I turn it inside out, push it down and then flip it back around. And I am ready to ink. Okay, so my fabric is smooth because it's down on that sticky mat. And I'm not feeling any lumps or bumps. I'm going to take my transfer. And I am actually, I'm not going to, I'm not going to chalk on all of it. I'm not going to chalk all of it. I'm going to, I'm not going to do the outlines. Like this has an outline. I'm not going to do the outline. I am going to do this line at the bottom, but I'm not going to do these lines because I just think that'll look a little funky on the t-shirt. So I'm pushing this down. Let me see, is that where I want it? Is that up too high? That's up too high, isn't it? That's up too high. I'm gonna lower it. Yes, I'm ripping. I might have to move my ink mat then. From the end of the ribbing? Mm -hmm. All these rules. To the top of your to the top of your image this far. Okay. Roughly three inches. Okay. Did my is my ink okay, my ink mat's down there. Well, just to remind y'all. You reminded me all. We'll Key, all keyword, work. yes, keyword is gasoline. That gets you entered in our weekly drawing. I have a big old hair in there, and I know it's mine because it's long. Only one with long hair here. Okay, so same thing I did with same thing I did with the, my hard surface. I'm just pushing this down really making sure it's adhered. Now I didn't fuzz it because I'm putting it on fabric and fabric is already got fuzz. Okay, now I want to remember to not chalk those lines. So I'm actually gonna put some tape down so that I don't go over those. I could try to be careful, but okay, and I got my iron heating up. Oops. 
do want to get all of that. Now, Alana wants to be in the drawing. Okay. You can't win if you're not entered. Okay, and I'm going to do just a couple of straight edges right there. Okay, so we are ready to ink now. For this project, I'm going to use ink because ink is our permanent uh, medium. These are semi-permanent. So once that is, the, the one I did earlier is dry, it'll be smudge and budge proof. I'll be able to rub on it and it's not going to come off. The only way it'll come off is if I apply some water, soak the paste and scrape it off. But I don't want to do that with my t-shirt. If I used paste on my t-shirt and I put it in the washing machine, it's all going to come off. It might stain, the pigments might stain it a little bit here and there, but it's, it's not going to be pretty. So we're using ink and then we need to heat set this. So I'll show you how we heat set. Betty thinks it'd be cute on a light denim t-shirt. It would, it would, or a, or a uh, button down, uh -huh. like button down shirt. denim shirt. Um, ma, 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 ma. Okay, same thing, applied the same way, except when I'm using ink on fabric, I don't, I want to go the same direction the whole time. So I want to go top to bottom or bottom to top or left to right, but I don't want to be going back and forth because I really don't want to push this paste through the screen and cause it to bleed. I want to keep that design nice and sharp. So, but other than that, same way. I'm putting some of our ink on the squeegee and I'm just dragging it down over the screen. This is gonna be one of my fastest projects. And I'm getting two of them done. Okay, now I'm going to go, I'm going to go from the bottom up here. Get in there. Hey, Tina. How is everything at the chateau? Okay, scrape off the excess. Putting it back in the jar. And now with ink, I'm going to check my fingers and make sure I don't have ink anywhere. I have a little bit of ink right there. Because if I touch any of this fabric with the ink, it's, it's going to leave a stain. So I want to make sure my fingers are clean before I go to pull this up. And yes, the chateau is in full bloom. Yay, we are, we are blooming here too. Roberta. We've got lilacs. Hey, Roberta. We've got lilacs and cherries and apples and cherries and cherries and oh the daffodils are done but now we've got a couple of tulips coming up okay so i'm going to peel this up we miss you too come visit what is that, um, that big plant we put out there, um, elderberry? Uh-huh. Yeah. That thing has lots of berries ready to come out right now. Awesome. We won't be sick at all. Yeah, blueberries coming on, too. Okay. Now, I'm peeling off this tape and tossing it. 
and I'm going to clean this tran I'm not going to do it on air, but I'm going to clean this transfer the same way I did with the paste, just with water and a board eraser. I actually think that the ink cleans up better than the ink cleans up better than the paste. But I'm going to give it a spray because I want to keep it damp until I'm ready to clean it. I'm trying not to spray my computer screen. And ta-da, here's my shirt. What do you think? Yay, I like it. Do you like it? I like it. I just did this with black. We have, we have like 24 different colors of our ink that you can choose from. And again, color craze, we are having buy three, get one free sale. So that's like 25% off uh, all ink and paste jars. So if you have been wanting to stock up, now is a good time. It is, it's stackable. So you can buy three and get one free, or you can buy six and get two free, or you can buy nine and get three free. So it, it's unlimited as long as we still have some supply in stock. Okay, let me, now before I heat set this, I'm going to, I want this to be as dry as possible. Ideally, I would let it sit overnight or 24 hours until it's dry to the touch, but we don't have that much time. So I'm just going to give it a little air and dry it to the touch as best as I can. So this says, get your kicks on Route 66. Last chance, next service, 100 miles, open 24 seven, full service garage. Do you guys remember full service garages? It was strange. I mean, I grew up and Actually, well, no, even, even my dad didn't always pump the gas because there would be a serviceman who'd come out, you'd run over the little, the little hose that sent off the bell and the serviceman would come out and ask what kind of gas you wanted and he'd fill it up for you. Then it kind of got to where they would just do that for the ladies, which I am not opposed to at all. But I never grew up, I never drove a car during those times until, where were we? Was it Montana? Where is it? Where you, no. Well, you can't pump your own gas. Oregon. Oregon. In Oregon, I didn't know this, you can't pump your own gas. You're not it, supposed to. I don't it's know. It's actually not true anymore. Not true anymore? Right. So it was, it was very strange to, to just sit in the car and let somebody else pump gas. It's like, I am completely capable. They did not check my oil and clean my windshield, though. They just pumped the gas. But yes, they clean your windshield, check your oil. All that good stuff. Those days are gone. Now you're lucky to have a human being anywhere near the gas station. It's still just a little tacky. The reason we want it dry is when we go to heat set it, if my iron scoots just a little bit, and the ink isn't dry, it's going to smudge the ink. So we want that ink as, as in place as it can be before we go to heat set it. So on my next live, I'm going to have to wear this shirt, right? Okay. Okay, I think that's dry. And again, it's best to let it air dry. Now I want to remove my ink mat before I heat set it or I will melt my, melt my ink mat. So I'm going to unstick that. 
and pull it out of there. And let me get these sleeves out. So what is everybody doing this Thursday evening? This is trash night. Did you take the trash out, dear? Mm -hmm. You are so good. Okay, I am going to put down a heat, heat pad, heating mat, and I'm going to lay this down here and make sure there's no wrinkles. Top or bottom. Actually, my alarm, my alarm should go off in about two minutes. Oh, to I'm remind you? To take the trash down, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I think there's no wrinkles. Now I'm going to get, I like to say now a lot, don't I? Now. Yeah. I'm going to get parchment paper to cover this. Again, to because that ink might not be completely dry, I want to protect. I want to protect the ink and the bottom of my iron so that they don't come in contact with each other. So I'm just covering this up with parchment paper, not wax paper, parchment paper. Now I'm going to use a uh, Cricut Easy Press and I have it set at 350 degrees and I'm just going to set it there for 30 seconds and then I'll move it to the next little area because it's a little bit long for this. Now you don't have to have one of these. If you have one, great. They, um, okay, I didn't see the beginning for the thing between the layers. That is an ink mat. It's just a flexible plastic, but it is sticky like a Cricut mat. And it just holds the fabric in place and it keeps any of the ink from bleeding through onto the back. So that was 30 seconds, pick it up and move it. I don't have to apply pressure. If you don't have one of these things, you don't have one of these things, you can just use a household iron. It's just as easy, it takes a little bit longer. So a household iron you would use at medium to high heat, no steam, don't put any water in it. You would still do the parchment paper, but you would take that iron and you would keep it moving for about four minutes. Now you keep the iron moving because your household irons, so you would you'd kind of do a thing like this. Your household irons have steam vents in the bottom. This doesn't. So if you were to hold it in place for 30 seconds, it's probably going to put a little funky circle where all those little steam vents are on your fabric and you don't want that. So you keep it moving for about four minutes. Now I'm gonna peel this off and I can tell if it is heat set by when it's cool enough for me to touch. If I touch the ink and it's not tacky at all, then I'll know it's heat set. Okay. And that sounds pretty good. If it if it still feels a little bit tacky, you just put the you just put this back down and you put it on again for another 30 seconds. Now I'm also going to turn it inside out and I'm also going to heat set it from the inside just because I want to make sure I have the the entire layer of ink heat set. And once I have that done, I can wash this, I can, I don't have to do it, I don't have to wash it on any special setting, I don't have to wash it at any special temperature, whatever your fabric requires, washer, dryer, and it's going to come out awesome. And just in case, I'm going to put that down, again, 350, 30 seconds, household iron, medium high, no steam for about four minutes, and keep it moving. I don't have to I don't have to push down on it. It's not like uh, it's not like heat press. Heat press. Um, you can use a heat press if that's all you have. Um, but it's not like um, heat heat transfer vinyl. It's it's not like that. I don't have to put any pressure on it. Okay, and I'm gonna do that top part. Two of the grandkids had after school functions, picked one up at five and one at 8.30. Now I'm relaxing, watching me craft. Well, 
You need to get to craft in yourself too. Shouldn't I put something between the shirt? I don't need to because I felt it and it was dry. I'll show you. You could if it bothers you, but because I heat set that, it's good to go. side now it'll be hot because that's a hot ice 350 degrees so from the inside from the outside to the inside I've got this heat set you can see I didn't have it didn't transfer anything onto the back and there I have my shirt you think I'm liking it it looks crooked but I don't I don't have it I'm crooked with it, I think. Hopefully I didn't do it crooked. Wouldn't that just be Bill's nightmare if I did it crooked? <laughs> okay. Yay! I like my shirt. I hope you liked it too. It is super cute. You could make a whole bunch of them for all the men in your lives or for yourself because women need gasoline too. And women like vintagey looking stuff. So again, this is the May Club transfer. So the only way you can get this transfer is to be a club member or a designer. The more I play with this, because I'm doing looking at it backwards, I'm just making a mess of it. Um, the only way to get this design is to be a club member during the month of May or be a designer. And every month we come out with a new one and it's great. So if you are interested in any of the other supplies that I used other than this transfer, you can, comp if you've already commented gasoline, there should be um, a button where you can look for more information and find the button that says product info. And you should have, find one that takes you to tonight's supplies. Now, again, this transfer won't be in there because it's only for club members. But there's links about becoming a club member if you are interested in that. I would love to have some new club members join this month. In fact, I think I'm going to post a special for my club members on my VIP page. So if you're not a member on my VIP page, get over there. Where'd you say you got the t-shirt? We got them at Jiffy Shirts. Okay, so again, I'm cleaning this up just because I have a few extra minutes. And like I said, I think the ink cleans up even better than the paste. Some of it will stain because there's such, it's so highly pigmented. It makes for bright, vibrant colors, but it'll also stain the plastic here, but that's okay. The plastic doesn't do the work. It's the screen that does the work. So let me clean this side. Yes, it is online. You can also just, I mean, I know they've got, they've got them on, on Amazon. So if you don't get it from Jiffy Shirts, you can, uh, Jiffy Shirts is kind of meant for wholesale, but they will sell, they'll sell small amounts. Okay, so, and that's all cleaned up, ready to use 10 to 12 times, guaranteed by the company, but I know you can get more uses out of it if you take good care of it. So that those were our two projects tonight. We did our gasoline sign. We did this in the ocean mist, the light blue paste, and our t-shirt. And our t-shirt. So two projects, one, one design, and I can mark that off my list. So I'm gonna pose here. So I'll have a good screenshot and we are gonna let you go. Two projects in not even 40 minutes. That's awesome, this stuff is so easy. So. 
give it a try if you haven't already. I also have sample kits available. If you're interested in giving it a try for a low cost, just type the word sample. It, I don't think it's on the bot. So if you're interested in the sample kit, just type in sample and I'll respond to you directly with the link for it. So nighty night, Tina, nighty night, everybody. Have a great rest of your week and into your weekend. We will be on again tomorrow with another really exciting craft that I've been wanting to do, but I lost the transfer and I finally found the transfer in a box of Christmas gift bags. I was never going to find that until next year. It was just a fluke that I found it. I don't know what it was doing in there, but I found it. So we're going to do that project tomorrow. So thanks for hanging out with us. Follow us if you aren't already. Share us with your friends and we will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.